In this video, we want to explain how the emails work in the Vantora system. Getting emails through is a very difficult task. Uh, it's getting harder and harder. A lot of companies to avoid spam, they're making it where emails have to be very precise in how they're sent and when they're sent. If things don't match up properly, what ends up happening is they have the, the email police are getting in the way and they're just waiting to throw your emails into the garbage. So when that email leaves the server, if they don't like something in it, they will, they will block it and it goes away. Well, one of the things they don't like is if the person sending the email is not who the actual email says is sending the email. Let's look at an example. So <clears throat> let's suppose we have an email that comes in, and this came from Citibank cards, and it shows all kinds of Citibank stuff here. But if we actually look at the header, which is code that's in the, the email, we see that it didn't come from Citibank at all. It came from someplace in Russia or someplace in North Korea or some place that was not Citibank. So as this is traveling through the email systems, somebody's going to pick up the fact that it's not a match and they're just going to throw it in the garbage. It won't even get to the customer spam folder. It will just go away. So we have to be careful doing this with the Vantora system. When somebody does a reservation, we send them an email saying, here's your confirmation of your reservation. And we used to be able to send them and spoof the email to where it said it was coming from your field. So if, if I was uh, gatsplat.com, it would send from info at gatsplat.com to that person, but it wasn't coming from Gatsplat, it was coming from Vantora. And so the fact that it was going off of Vantora.com server and we said it was coming from Gatsplat would cause it to get thrown in the garbage. Same thing for your field, if it's XYZ paintball, but it's coming from Vantora.com, there's an issue. So we found a way to fix this. We're going to manage the emails for you. It requires no effort on your part. It's a seamless integration of our email server with your email address. What we've done is we've created Vantora.com emails for every field. When you have a, a Vantora system set up with us, we will automatically create a Vantora email. So for example, we'll look at my Rowlett location, and I have Gatsplat Rowlett at Vantor.com has been created for us. So my actual email is Rowlett at Gatsplat.com. That's where I actually get emails. But the Vantora system can't send them from Gatsplat.com. It's going to send them from Gatsplat Rowlett at Vantora.com. That way they get through. Now, what we have um, for the the from name can be anything you want. So that can say Gasplat Rowlett, it can say Gasplat Bookings, it, whatever you want. This doesn't matter at all. This is just what shows up on the person's email. But this we set and you give us this and we set that. And you'll see these are grayed out. You can't even change these now. If they do need to be changed, you need to inform us because we need to change the email out on the server for the proper forwarding. So let's explain how the system works. Somebody does a reservation and you have um, your email. So let's suppose your info at your email.com and the customer has their customer name at email.com. So for these emails to leave the Vantora server and be delivered properly, we need this email going to them to come from your business at Vantora.com, the email that we set up. The one going to you is going to come from your business at Vantor.com. So your XYZ at Vantor.com is set up, and that sends out to both of these. So no problem. Everybody gets their email. They are coming from where they say they're coming from. Now, the problem is when this person wants to reply to the reservation. So if they reply to the reservation, it's going to go to the Gatsplat at Vantor.com or XYZ at Vantor.com. But that's not a problem because when we set up your email, we made it a direct forward then back to you. So when this person sends the email, it'll bounce around the server and then get forwarded directly to you so you get that email. Okay, so to see what that looks like, here, for example, is one that came from GetSplatRowlette at Vantor.com. And it came into Rowlette at GetSplat.com. So 
everything just kind of bounces through the server and goes. That way the headers match. This is the most effective way to make sure you get the most number of emails showing up to your customers. Now, a lot of customers will have other blocks in line and whitelist software, and it's, it's getting harder and harder to get emails through to people as they try to block out more and more spam. Lots of times legit emails get blocked too, but we're doing everything we can to assure that as many of your emails as possible make it through to the customer. That way you can get your marketing message out to them. Okay. If you have any questions, as always, give us a call. Thanks.